the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video transversal through paper folding now before we take up the exercise uh, let us define uh, a few more angles in continuation of the earlier video let us uh, see what do we mean by consecutive interior angles now we know that d c e f are called as interior angles because they are between the two lines uh, when the transversal is going through them now c and f are called as consecutive interior angles so consecutive interior angles why do we call them as consecutive interior angles they are on the same sides we had used the terminology alternate interior angles so we defined d and f as alternate interior angles why alternate interior angles you no know, you can see that d e f we have left e in between we have gone to the alternate so that is why d and f are called as alternate interior angles whereas d and e c and f they are called as consecutive interior angles one more angle may be defined that is what you call adjacent angles now take a line and you have a single ray going through that and you have two angles formed that is a and b so a and b are called as adjacent angles now let us use this example and see how the vertically opposite angles are equal let us take the paper strip and keep it on the line uh, 3 which is the transversal and then fold it uh, uh, below the line 1 that means you have the angle c now we have to prove that this is equal to angle a now we can notice that this is equal to angle a now this angle c and angle g are corresponding angles but uh, the c cannot be g why because you can notice that the angle is different why because lines 1 and 2 are not parallel in the next example let us see how the corresponding angles become equal when the lines are parallel now similarly we can prove that angle b is equal to angle d how we can do that you take a sheet and then place it on top of line 1 and fold the paper along the line um, 3 and then you make an angle now this is the angle you get now you can notice that you get the same angle d so b and d are equal now the same way you have a c and a are equal that means the vertically opposite angles are equal now let us see how these concepts that we have explained in the transversal can be demonstrated through a single paper folding now let us take a paper square sized paper or rectangular sized paper and make line 1 so let us call this as line 1 right now let us make another line right which is not parallel you just fold the paper horizontally connecting two points 
now let us call this as line 2 now what is the transversal transversal is uh, a line going through two lines on the same plane at two distinct points so that means you just make another line right another line now we have made a transversal right you call this line as 3 this is transversal let us see how the vertically opposite angles are equal right this will be a good exercise for the visually impaired child now we can prove that let us call angle a b c d e f g h so we can prove that angle c is equal to angle a using a paper strip but at the same time you know we can prove this without using the paper strip also now we have the two lines we have the transversal so what we do we get angle b and angle d in order to prove that angle a is equal to angle c what we have to do you make the angle bisector of angle b angle bisector of angle d so how do we do this we have to fold the angle b into two halves angle b into two halves so simply make angle b into two halves you can see the crease going in the same line right similarly you make angle b into two halves now what has happened angle b has been made into two halves angle d has been made into two halves so what we do we simply fold this and then you fold the, the folded portions inside now you can get angle c which is equal to angle a angle c equal to angle a uh, using the same technique you can prove that angle f and h are equal angle e and g are equal and angle d and b are also equal so we recommend that you see both the videos simultaneously to understand the different types of angles that we get through the transversal and how that can be demonstrated using paper folding uh, in the next video let us take the example of these two lines one and two being parallel and what happens when the transversal goes through the parallel lines we have a number of properties that can be uh, identified uh, using that example see you in the next video